Hello, this is Lord Og. Yes, it is, and welcome to uh, Don't Starve. Now, okay, it isn't where Wolf Gang Wednesday, yeah, I know, but I just didn't feel like it. I wanted to do another, I decided to do another Don't Starve. Kind of enjoyed last one, so I thought I'd get into it again. Uh, the thing is, I, f I was going to do an Uggs world, because I've got a topic to talk about. So, but then I thought, well, I don't feel like doing an Uggs world, so why don't I do a Don't Starve and talk about the topic on that? So that's what I'm going to do instead. And I'm going to do it while playing here. As you know, last time we played, we got winter. We got winter just to pass, and we're back going game now. One thing I got asked. Oh, I've got loads of up here as well. I bet they're bad. Yeah, bad. Oh well, they can go over to my uh, rot. Okay. So one thing I did get asked is, how do you lay down? Um, oh, that was their eggs up there to for, to rot. How do you lay down flowers? Now. It's just to show. Now everybody knows everything, so it's all good. So I'm going to show people on this. Well, for starts, let's get rid of let's get rid of some of this stuff because I don't need uh, this. A couple in there was in room. There is. Is there anything else winterish? I need. I can get rid of. I uh, don't really care. Okay. Well, oh bugger, let's get off. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually. Just get these three last three honey ham because I've got some monster meat here. So I was shown the about creating a ham bat, which uh, I must admit I've heard of the ham bat, of course, but uh, I didn't actually ever think about it. So yeah, it's kind of something I might create. I need a pig skin first, and I don't think I've got any. Wait, why was that just there? Where's where's the hole that goes with it? Where's any of the holes? Where's the holes? Wait here, there's something wrong here. Where's the where's where's the holes? There's no rabbit holes. <laughs> My rabbit holes have disappeared. Look, there ain't a rabbit hole anywhere. Okay, that's interesting. Whatever. I'm actually in game. Let me move that and see if I can scare him into it. Does he disappear into the floor? Yeah! So the rabbit holes are here. They're just not showing up. Oh, well. <laughs> That's weird. I've never had that before, I must admit. That throws you a little bit. I don't know where to put them now. Okay. So I'm going to have to be careful where I pick it up from. And put it down in the same place. That'll do. Okay. Really weird, not having any rabbit holes, but yet yeah, they are there. Think that's close enough. The rabbits will still walk into those. Uh, I just picked up a rabbit. Did I kill that? I didn't kill it. Oh, that one came. Okay, about there. Wow. <laughs> Very weird. I'm trying to remember where I pick them up from so I can put them in a very similar place. It's about there. The rabbits will still walk into them even if they're just close. They don't have to be spot on. But yeah, that's quite funny that, I must admit. It's about there. Right. So anyway. I'm just going to make these. I'm going to show you how to plant, how to put some flowers down when uh, daylight comes. Daylight, come on, me want to put flowers down. <laughs> oh, terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. So, um, yeah, I've got a topic also to talk about, so let's get started. That is, I was asked about internet attitudes. Oh, is that okay? That's fine. I'll tell you what, let me just restart my uh, my client. And see if uh, see if I can get my rabbit totals back. It just makes me feel like there's nothing wrong with the game then. Because when it's like this, it could crash any time. And I just don't want that. So, uh, I'm also really, really, really low on a thingy. On wood. It's okay, though. Don't worry. I've got it all planned out. That's all I need. Because all I'll do is make a rope and burn it 
And of course, rope, burning rope. It puts it on, it puts a nice flame up, that'll do. So, uh, I shall be right back with, um, I need more, I've only got, I haven't got much grass. That's it. We're all good now. Right, I'll be right back after I've just uh, restarted. So, I'll be right back. Ah, the answer's no, I have no rabbit holes. <laughs> okay, who stole my holes? Bring them back. There'll be no trouble if you bring back my hole. Okay, just so you know. Okay. Oh yeah, I meant to plant some of these, didn't I? How many is there there? Six. It'll start the new forest off. <laughs> Whee! No, try planting them. Yeah, so internet attitudes I was asked about by uh, someone, so we're going to do... Uh, I'm going to do that. Why am I trying to plant that? Oh, I knew they were somewhere. I'm just trying to plant bloody... Uh... Oh, well, that's not good, is it? Let's get them back, then. Let's put them down there. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I knew this would come in handy. Told you. Remember when I made it? It was like, oh, I didn't need that. Well, now it's put it out perfect. Because now I can skip the night. Because I'm a bit short on the wood and everything. My light's gone. <laughs> so by the time it comes, we'll be back to normal. Okay, first of all, let me explain how to... Uh, plant flowers so put on your net you need your bugs net now when you go to wear these flowers anywhere where there's flowers even just one flower you'll notice that there's butterflies flying around so what you want to do is when you you want to click on a butterfly when it says catch just click on it run over to it there has one there boom you've caught it there's another one boom that's two and then yeah you can just 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 as many as you want as long as you then you've got the net to do it Come here. Got him. Clicked on him. If you could click on him in midair, he'll just chase him down and catch it anyway. And they'll keep coming out. If you keep running over at flowers, it'll actually, they'll actually jump. They'll actually come flying out of the flowers. There you go. One's there. Look. So you just catch that. Right. So I've clicked on it. He'll chase it down and catch it. Boom. Now, when you've caught enough and you're happy with how many you've caught, let me just put this back down. Then what you do is you pick up your flower and if you see it says plant right click so what you do is you right click on the floor and it puts the butterfly back down but it also puts down a flower with the butterfly Whee! so there you go four new flowers for four new butterflies and that is how you plant your uh, as I plant them okay there you go so let's do uh, the topic, internet attitudes, and let's get some uh, wood while we're at it, because we've absolutely got none left. Alright, who's been running over my uh, trap? Stop it. Can't say much more of that, because they haven't got a rabbit hole anywhere, so... I'll have to hope they come back. Uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, internet attitudes, what causes people to act the way they do and I'm going to teach you a word today if you don't know it already and it's called solipsism now solipsism is basically the belief that other people's beliefs opin and opinions and emotions and all that don't matter outside of your own it's actually more just another person's thought process or mind doesn't really count outside of your own so the best way for me to to kind of link it up to internet is because people have the anonymity of the internet they can't see and they don't uh, who they're talking to now you take a troll now somebody might be a troll and like to go online and troll people and be really nasty and upset them but yet when they're in real life with fr with friends they might be caring they might be nurturing they might be they might listen and be best friend that person could be but then as soon as they get online they're obnoxious nasty and things like that now is that you know is that them normally no it isn't 
but it's because of solipsism which basically means that they don't feel they because they can't see the person who they're talking to and they can't acknowledge they don't acknowledge that person properly exists or that their feelings matter they might acknowledge the person exists but they don't admit that that feel, person's feelings matter so they find it easy easy to be a troll and do nasty things and that's basically what what solipsism is and i see a lot of that online a lot of solipsism online you see when you're interacting with friends real life friends then you can see them you can hear them you can see their emotions so you 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 tend to react a lot more to them and you don't have this problem of solipsism because you can see how your actions and things like that actually affect them now in some extreme cases yes even real life people you cannot kind of empathize with them either and you can't believe they're they're a thought process outside your own that's really extreme cases but in most cases it's just simply a, it's just simply that you know, you don't acknowledge that people that there's people who have a thought process outside yours um it's kind of like see it to believe it thing but on a more extreme scale it's like me saying there's a going up saying to you oh there's a video of a pig on you a pig dancing on youtube it's really funny now in your mind you cannot you cannot find or even believe there's a funny pig a funny video of a pig dancing on youtube until you see it because my thought process thought it funny but mine don't count because you can't understand that so you have to see it yourself to know whether it really is funny because it can't be funny unless you accept that and i think it's because of that that we get so much trouble with things like trolls and things like that because people because of people suffering from solipsism they don't they don't they just cannot feel empathy for people they're trolling or hurting or upsetting because it doesn't how much is on that one none okay so that's the one i just put down i think so have these got 100 on i think they have that's got 92 that's got 100 okay so i'll make another one with that one later or i'll just make a new one just leave it to make a new one it's not exactly dear and i think i've got a firefly i have so tell off for now i'll make another one later but uh it's easier just for me just to make another one but i've got plenty of wood now so i'm happy in the morning i will plant some trees and go and chop down those trees down south and plant some new ones got to get that done all that to try and kill some bloody penguins that weren't there so yeah that is what i honestly link think about internet internet uh, attitudes i think a lot of people suffer from solipsism it's kind of like also some of these commentators who don't acknowledge their subscribers who hardly ever acknowledge them because that would mean giving them a pat on the back it would mean admitting they exist but then at the same time if their subscribers piss them off they'll do a video verbally attacking them that is a form of solipsism because you don't want to give them respect for doing something good because that would mean you have to acknowledge them whereas you don't mind having a go at them if they do something bad because that affects you and upset and bothers you so therefore if it bothers you it's a problem if it doesn't bother you and it bothers others then it isn't a problem because their their thought process their their you know the way they think doesn't exist outside what you can see can uh, perceive so that is what i honestly see you know i don't think that trolls are bad people simply because you know it's hard to say that about trolls when you don't know them you know they might be completely fine people really nice loving people but it's just online when the anonymity comes in of, of being online then all of a sudden the solipsism kicks in they cannot you know they cannot feel or care about the thought process of someone else that they can't even see and yeah they can be speaking to you online but it doesn't matter they don't know you you are not some part of let's say their inner circle so they do not acknowledge how you think i mean i try not to be like that that's why i'm always patting 
subscribers on back or giving shout outs or things like that because I want people to see they exist because a lot honestly just it's just this solipsism takes over and it is a really really dangerous um, belief to have because that ba it basically means you don't give a crap what anybody else thinks and you don't you don't have the ability to you know feel you know feel them mentally what other people are feeling so you don't care. You have no empathy to that. And like I say, that can almost go towards what some serial killers are like. You know, that like serial killers won't, you know, or, or, or people who are going to hurt people. They won't say the name of the victim. They'll just say like things like, you know, stand up, sit down, eat this, whatever. You know, if they like, if you like kidnapped them, let's say. That's because they don't want to yeah, admit to that person's name. To give the person a name is to give them an identity. So what they do instead is not call them by name because then they don't have to give them an identity. They don't exist then. So yeah, that's kind of like a, solips a solipsism. And I see it a lot online. I think when trolls do things, I think I think that's a, that's a case of solipsism that right there. They have got it because they obviously don't care or can't understand what their actions are doing to people. And you know how it's hurting them, making them feel, etc. Because it's outside of what they can perceive, so therefore, it doesn't matter. They can't understand it. That solipsism. So next time you see that, you know what it is now. And I have seen a commentator who's done what I've said. You know, he, he doesn't hardly ever talk to his subscribers, but he has done a couple of videos. You know, having a go at them. You know, saying bad things at them like they ask too much. They ask for shout outs and. You know, stop it and, you know, you stop asking me to wish you happy birthday and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, he's let out videos verbally attacking them. But he won't, he don't let out videos patting them on the back and saying well done. That is solipsism. Because the only thing that matters to him is his, is his stress level, his anger, his pain or whatever. And everybody else's doesn't matter. So he can, he can pull them up for doing things that he doesn't like to him. But... You know, when he's doing, when he's having a go at them, that's okay. It doesn't matter how much it upsets them, as long as he gets his point across. That's all. He, that's all he can concentrate on. That's all that matters to him. So again, it's a form of solipsism. So next time somebody asks, now you know what you can say to him. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. We've got some trees down; they'll grow nicely, and. Uh, We've got a few things to do now. We've got these trees to grow back up, which will, well, they'll take care of themselves once they're planted, but we've got to keep them planted. We've got to do some more yet. got plenty to do. I shouldn't have burned down the whole sodding forest, but I wanted them penguins so bad. And <laughs> and then, uh, bloody hell, I've just got so many things I wanted to try. I wanted to open up more of the map, explore more of the map, which means I've got to start to prepare for that. I've got to get a real surplus of food, get a big intake of food going, because I don't want to be caught without food when I when I start. And Wolfgang, you know, he goes through food really quickly. One thing you will find with Wolfgang is he actually goes through food like you wouldn't believe. So that's not good. I want to make myself another hat also. I've only got one there, I'll well plant that. Yeah, I, uh, I want to make myself another miner's hat also. I like to have two or three of those on the go because you know, when they are so handy to have that it's nice to have them. But yeah, Wolfgang is just so hard to keep full. He just like loses it so quickly. Okay. Let's get this. And then I'm going to say goodbye. So if you want to talk about solipsism, how you feel, or if you've seen it online, or if you've seen an example of it, and you just want to mention it, or if you want to tell me why my bloody rabbit holes have disappeared, and who stole them, because that's annoying, then, uh, or anything that you've seen or heard, <laughs> just, uh, just feel free in comment or in message. And remember, if you've liked this video and you've liked my talk about solipsism and uh, trying to find my rabbit holes, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, don't forget to click that like button for me. I know you're getting that quite a lot just lately. I'm not sure why why it's being done so much because 
I don't think people get paid per like, so people could just be doing it like I am, just to try and understand what what people are enjoying right now. Which is, if they are, is a really good thing, because that means they're starting to think about you, the subscriber, a little bit more, so they can work out what you like. But if they gain bonuses for just gain likes, then they want kicking in the gonads and telling to grow up. Anyway. <laughs> Myself left there. Okay, I'll see you next time, guys. You know I love you. I always do. And you take care. Bye for now.